The movie takes place in 2021 as riots begin taking over the streets of Mexico City. When things get violent and the mess is taken advantage of to establish a military dictatorship, hospitals are suddenly flooded with wounded people, and the elderly are kicked off their beds to give space to the new arrivals. Meanwhile in the fancy part of the city, two wealthy families are celebrating the wedding of their heirs Marianne and Alan. Marianne's mother Rebecca is extremely worried because a judge friend will be attending the party, so everything must be perfect. Whenever the happy couple gets some money as a gift, Rebecca puts it away in the safe, she also keeps obsessing over the water because sometimes it comes out green, a consequence of the paint being used in the riots. However her husband Ivan tells her she needs to relax. Most people including Marianne's brother Daniel arrived early, but many of the guests are having trouble reaching the house because of all the blocked roads, one couple even got green paint thrown at their car and their clothes. During the party, Marianne is approached by maid Marta to ask her if she could spare a minute for former employee Rolando. It turns out his wife Elisa who also used to work for this family is very ill and needs surgery as soon as possible. Rolando had everything ready at the public hospital, but the protesters took over, and now he has to take her to a private practice, for which he needs the money. Rebecca is hesitant to help, using the wedding party as an excuse to guilt trip him, but Rolando swears he would not be here if it was not an emergency, so Rebecca has no choice but to try to help the man that worked for her for years. While some guests decide to leave early because they are afraid more roads will be closed, Rebecca asks Daniel and Ivan for some money, specifically mentioning loan numbers, and after adding a bit of her own, she brings it to Rolando. It is not even a quarter of what he needs, but she claims it is all they had on hand before going back to the party. Rolando stays by the door wondering what to do when he suddenly sees Marianne and calls her over, congratulating her on the wedding before explaining his situation. Marianne has always been fond of Rolando and his wife, so she does not hesitate to go back inside to ask for that extra money. Daniel tells her to ask Ivan, but Marianne knows how he gets when it comes to money and thinks it is a bad idea, causing Daniel to take matters in his own hands. He goes outside and gives Rolando all the money he has left in his pockets which isn't much, and tells him to leave or he will call security. Marianne still refuses to give up and asks Roland to wait before going to the family safe, only to discover she cannot open it and access her own money. She asks Ivan about it and learns her mom changed the password, but instead of helping, Ivan tells her to enjoy the party and leave those matters for later. Next, Marianne goes to ask Alan if he has the new password, but Alan does not, and he thinks Rolando may be scamming them. Still wanting to avoid such a talk, Marianne ends up grabbing her phone and credit card before going to find Rolando, who unfortunately has already left. Desperate, Marianne talks to Marta's son Christian, asking him to take her to Rolando's house. Right after the two of them leave in one of the family's many cars, the judge friend finally arrives at the party, and Rebecca immediately sends Marta to find Marianne. Marianne gets a call from Marta on her phone and explains she will be taking Rolando and his wife to the hospital, she also asks Marta not to tell her family where she is going. After hanging up, Marianne begins looking for a new road to take because the usual one is blocked by cops that will not allow them to pass even if it is an emergency. Meanwhile back at the party, a group of protesters breaks into the house with the help of the servants. Daniel tries to offer them his watch, promising more if they all stay peaceful, but the protesters do not care and begin shooting people, including Ivan. Rebecca is held at gunpoint in order to make her open the safe, one of the maids takes the chance to steal a bunch of stuff as well, and while most of the guests are being beaten up, Marta hides in a closet to call Christian and warn him not to come back to the house. Unfortunately before she can explain more, one of the protesters finds her and hits her too. Guests are held against the wall and asked for their belongings, some of them are even asked to transfer money using their phones. If anyone even hesitates to collaborate, they get shot, and sometimes they get shot even after giving them what they want, like it happens to Rebecca after opening the safe. A pregnant woman is shot as well with not even a second thought for the baby, and the entire house gets destroyed too. Marianne and Christian are having trouble as well because they have accidentally taken a messy road where the car is hit with green paint and shaken by the protesters, thus they pull back to search for yet another way. This time Christian drives while Marianne hides so that the outsiders cannot tell a socialite is entering the poor neighborhood. They make it safely to Rolando's, although he is not very happy to see Christian has brought Marianne since it can equal trouble. Marianne visits Elisa and promises to take her to the hospital, but hours pass and things on the streets just get worse, thus Christian allows Marianne to stay at his apartment, which is right above Rolando's. It is late at night when the Secretary of Defense finally manages to take control of most parts of the cities, and Marta finally gets to escape her employer's home, doing her best to walk through the riots unnoticed. In the morning, ambulances arrive at Daniel's house to take away all the bodies while the army declares a curfew for all the areas affected by the riots. Marianne wakes up and wants to go home, but it may be dangerous so Christian goes outside first to check the estate of things. The streets are empty except for a group of soldiers that immediately get Christian on his knees to interrogate him. When Christian confesses he wants to help his boss, the soldiers enter his home and make him stay there while taking Marianne away, promising to guide her home safely. Marianne is put inside a truck and asked for her jewelry and phone, which is not working anyway because the lines are all down. As they pass through the city, 
destruction and bodies can be seen everywhere. Marta finally makes it to Christian after walking for hours, but Marianne is not doing as well. The soldiers lied and are not taking her home, they are taking her to their base, where they keep tons of hostages that they will use to get ransom money later. Each victim gets a number written on their heads and is asked for their personal information before being put in a cell with everyone else, if they don't collaborate, they are punished with violence. Sometimes a bunch of soldiers come over and take the women into an open room to take advantage of them. At the hospital, Daniel finally has a breakdown when he is reminded he has to make arrangements for the funerals of his wife and Rebecca. Later Alan takes Daniel with him to see his dad, who is friends with General Oribe. They ask this general to pull some strings to find Marianne, and Oribe promises to do as much as he can. When the time for the funeral comes, not many people attend because most of their relatives and friends are dead. Almost a month later, while Rolando is doing his best to keep Elisa alive, it is announced on the streets that citizens will be allowed to leave their houses for hours per day. This should be a good chance to try to get in contact with the hospital, so Rolando leaves his wife with Marta and goes outside. Unfortunately the citizens are only allowed to walk around a few blocks, and when Rolando tries to go farther, he is stopped by the soldiers blocking the exits without getting any answers from them. Daniel and his family have the money to quickly fix the house and bring Ivan over from the hospital. He has survived the shot, but he is in a very delicate condition and must stay in bed all day long, he is also assigned a nurse. Alan's mother begins to wonder how long they have to wait for Marianne to be found before they can move on, and to make matters worse with her lack of sympathy, she sometimes orders the nurse around as if she was a maid. At the base, the soldiers are finally putting their plan into action by recording videos of the hostages asking their relatives to please pay for their rescue, these videos are later sent to the victims' families. One night, Elisa's health hits its lowest, so Rolando decides to risk going outside to find a doctor. Unfortunately he ends up being shot by the soldiers because he will not stop walking when asked and ends up dying the same night as his wife. Sometime later, Christian and Marta go to church to say goodbye to both of them. The next day, Daniel gets the video of Marianne plus a request for 10 million for her rescue, but no instructions on how to send the money. At the base, the hostages are all being washed together with cold water from a hose while the soldiers begin arguing over who gets which amount of money depending on how much they have helped their cause. Two particular soldiers are not happy with the small amount their boss assigns them, so when nobody is watching, they move Marianne to another cell before visiting Christian and Marta with a message, if they want to save Marianne, they must bring 800,000 pesos. Obviously they do not have that kind of money, but work permits are finally being given to employees, meaning Christian and Marta should be able to return to their old jobs and steal from Daniel's family. Christian uses the two free hours a day to try and find out where to get these permits while at the base, the hostage videos get worse, now they include torture too. Marianne's family gets another one of those recordings and takes it to Oribe, who once again makes vague promises. Sometime later, Christian and Marta finally get their permit and begin working again. The process to leave the house is very strict, soldiers put them in lines to check their permits and confirm they are not carrying weapons, then they are assigned to specific buses and vans that will take them directly to work to avoid any chances of anyone walking away. Once they arrive at Marianne's house, Marta helps Alan's mom with the cleaning while Christian speaks to Daniel in private to explain the situation. Daniel asks Ivan for his opinion, and Ivan gives him permission to send the money. Meanwhile at the base, Marianne hears how a hostage is taken outside because his Ramson got paid, but in the end, he just gets shot. In the evening, Christian and Marta manage to bring the money back to their home without being found by hiding it under their clothes, since the guards only check their bags. Moments later the soldiers come to pick up the money but they do not bring Marianne, Moments later the soldiers come to pick up the money but they do not bring Marianne, instead they ask for a million to be picked up the following night. And now Daniel thinks they are part of the scam. He calls the general to ask for his help, and in the evening, Oribe and his men wait at Christian's home for the soldiers to come for the money. The soldiers get arrested, and sadly, so is Marta. Now that Oribe knows where these soldiers come from, he goes to the base to rescue Marianne. Once he leaves without doing anything about the rest, the other soldiers begin shooting and lighting on fire all the hostages in order to abandon the building before they can possibly be arrested too. Instead of being taken home though, Marianne is taken to Christian's place and both of them get shot on the spot. When Oribe calls Daniel over to identify the body, he pretends Christian killed Marianne before ending things for himself too. Sometime later, all the citizens considered traitors, including Marta, are killed in a public ceremony while Oribe and Alan's father watch comfortably from their seats. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.